I'm Blaise Hackman. And I'm Lee Henderson. And this is a special commentary of uh, a fight that was on, what, what event was it? Brace 49. Brace 49. And um, we're just adding our own commentary to this because the, uh, I think the actual broadcast commentary is very rare and hard to find. So we've just uh, picked these two fighters to comment on <laughs> and make our own judgments about them. Uh, this is an event out of Canberra. When was it? Like April last year. No, this year. Yeah. Um, so, as you can see here, I'm just going to queue up the tape. Uh, the quality, of the, like there's three files here, but there's this, the first two files aren't that much quality. But you can see this guy here is pretty buff. This is the loco lawyer. Uh, I Stephen, wonder where he got his, uh, what, his, his name? fine name from. I don't know. It sounds Latin. That's his trainer from Garage Jiu-Jitsu. He's got a strong crew with him. He does. Look at that. He's quite good looking. Both of those guys are pretty good looking. Um, and so you can see the preparation. This gentleman's 50 years old. He doesn't look at it, does he? No. And he's quite... He's just quite handsome. As a heterosexual comment, uh, I think he's a really good looking guy. Guy on the right, not small, the... Small nipples, though. <laughs> well, that's an evolutionary thing. To, um, I think... Uh, if like larger nipples, evolutionary, you could be apparently. I mean, I, was, I heard that when they were gloving up back backstage, um, some of the officials had trouble finding gloves that would fit over his thumbs. There's something, <laughs> something odd about his thumbs. Apparently, he's got murderous thumbs. You can see that he's walking out like Jack well, You can just see them, just poking out the edge of the gloves. But... <laughs> he's got bad intent. And look at those. I think I read a forum online where some discovers his diary. Here we go. Here's shorts. his opponent. Yeah, this is Ray. Ray um, was it Renee? What's his last name? Rene C. The, Rene Kikeo. The big chili. Yeah, the big, the hot chili, isn't it? Pink chili. Bit of striking there, warming up. Uh, he's going to bring the heat. He's 45 years old. A ranked, uh, I think he and uh, Stephen Anderson were actually competing against each other at Blue Belt and, you know, top of the tree there for a while. And so now they've actually brought this event into the arena into the cage to go to the next level to test their jiu-jitsu, right? So he's a Gracie fighter? Correct. The hot chili from Chile. 45. <clears throat> 45, man. He's buff. He's in shape. He's ready to smack down. Looks a lot like uh, Hickson Gracie. Like, is that Hickson Gracie? Could be. Could be. The smoke was a little kind of thicker. <laughs> he looks, he looks, he looks so, mean, though. He looks he look, serious. He looks terrifying. They both look like they're uh, mentally ready. Would you fight him? I would never fight this guy. No. Maybe the other guy's got uh, problems. Stephen Anderson. Bit of a cauliflower there. Yeah, a bit of a cauliflower. But he looks like he means business. Purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, they're both purple belts. And this is a catch weight fight. Ren about 85. Uh, I think Rene weighed in at 85. Stephen Anderson weighed in at what? 80, 83. Is it Anderson or Anderton? Uh, it's Anderson, I believe. Okay. Who would call themselves Stephen Anderton? I know. I mean, that would, the name would be open to misinterpretation. People would be calling you Anderson all the time, right? So here they are. Look at that. Rene. Ooh, tail of the tape. Yeah. 85 and 85. Okay, so Five Anderson. Oh, hang on, Anderson. It's spelled Anderton. They, they They've made a up. mistake. They made a mistake. He's got a bit of a high bit advantage. Of high. Record. Re records are even. But they're both pro fighters. Yeah. yeah he's got tats, uh, Rene. So he's and good, on good the match, jiu-jitsu wise, who who's been the more dominant? Uh, I think that uh, they both had uh, you know fortunes, days of fortune, and uh, but you can see Anderson looks confident, serious look. He's in he shape. Look, he's, he's been working. He's got the creatine. Look at it, down oh, the barrel on the camera. He's a, he's a smug bastard, isn't he's he? He's probably overconfident. Stephen Anderson. Anderson, God, they got it wrong again. I know, Garage Jiu-Jitsu. What a great club out of Bondi Junction, though. Yeah, headed up he's, by Guinevez. He wants to fight the audience. He's looking right at them. He's happy, though. He's, yeah. he's not feeling the nerves, obviously. I mean, he's got a little bit of boob twitching <laughs> action, too. Is that nerves, or is that... Um, he's just a showman, I think. What do you call that? Uh, the uh, parasympathetic system. Nervous system. <laughs> Renee looks uh, ready. He, he's not mucking around. He's shaking not, it out. There's no stupid smiling from this guy. No, serious. It's all business. Gracie Castle Hill coming in, showing his skills, ready to show them. And he's just a solid man, a tough looking, durable individual. Not an ounce of nervousness between them. No. Kevin Manderson. <laughs> Stephen Anderson. <laughs> slash Anderton. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Hey, now, how you gotta pause it there because I actually have access to a higher quality file. Well, let's move to the HD. All right, because we don't want to uh, deny the audience. In fact, we can actually just start from here because we can see the nipple twitching in HD this time. Well, it's, what is it? What have we got here? 720p, right? So anything that we didn't bring to the table before, uh, we can bring now. Um, bit of smoke in the arena there, his corner. Uh, this is streamed uh, live around Australia. No, I think it was, Fight Pass, UFC Fight Pass. That's right, that's right. Full House in Canberra, the AIS. Here is once again, because I think, I think we have to see his nipple twitching once yeah. again. Look at those abs. He's running with the six pack. I think he's, I've been he's working. smiling, very relaxed. He looks like, oh. <laughs> he looks like one of those douchebags that works down at Bond Lake Gym, you know, like you see when you're walking past. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the gym, but he definitely looks like a douchebag. Yeah. Not familiar with eastern suburbs douchebags yourself? I try and avoid them. Yeah, same here, especially in the car park. I was in the roundabout the other day and one of them nearly ran into me in his big black SUV. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see up close now in detail, because it doesn't look like it's filmed with a potato, this version, that you can see the tension, the nerves on the face. The Vaseline's been applied to the face. That's too, it just feels more erotic that way. And Here we go. Referee's got a lovely yeah, necklace. Yeah. This. Okay, touch them up. Both of them. There's a bit of grey hair from both of them. But the, can, oh, these okay. ages, 45 and 50, right? These, these are significant ages to go in for your first professional And we are fight. off. Here That's we go. go. Anderson's come in. A couple of strikes. He's going to keep it stiff, though. I, I think this coach told him, be first, one of the boxing coaches. At no Garage. hesitation. Now, oh, oh, a bit of a slip there. Kakao, he's oh, defending. his first right. Yeah, he's, he's in southpaw. No, he's switching stances. That's a bit sneaky. Because I don't think it was a conjecture about what stance he was. Ooh, oh, another no, strong right. right. Yeah. Anderson's marking up pretty quickly. A nice leg kick there. Look, yeah, that's funny, that, because I think that, that was Anderson's strategy, was to kick Kakao. Kakao And apparently Rene is not, not known for his leg kicking. No, he goes up, oh, he's going up to the top. Nice combination oh, for Anderson. Yeah. Over Anderson. the top. Yeah. Over the top. Yeah, there you go. A little bit cups. of dirty boxing. Yeah, bit of Don Fry. Uh, have some of that. Have some of that. Yeah, have a couple of those. Now, look, he's always looking. He, Renee's going to be a bit gas ready. He's going to cop a couple in the face. Oh. Uh, right in the money box, right there. There we go. He stopped. Anderson is apologetic. Referee, go to the corner. And, and we're rightfully so. He went, what kind of douchebag would kick someone in the nuts 40 seconds into a fight? Okay, but the Chilean, he's made of stern stuff, right? That's it. But they open. I thought that was a pretty uh, big flurry. Look at the trainer down there chewing the gum on the left hand side. Anderson sucking in the big ones. Yeah, getting <laughs> getting that air, getting his second wind. Yeah, they re it was quite. And explosive. they're off again. Here we go. Here we go. So we can see them just a bit more relaxed now. Anderson's coming up with a kick to the body. Needs to set him up though. I think so. He's trying to chop down that lead leg, right? Another one to the quadricep. This is what happens. You hit that. That, oh, take that the lead leg. Yeah. Nice leg kick. Takes away all the power. Oh. oh! Renee was ready for that one. Brings it to the ground. Okay, let's see what they've got. You can tell these guys saw the first 20 uh, VHS of the UFC because this is all that really happened in those fights. Now somebody's cut. There's a bit of claret there. Yeah. We look at he's going a hammer fist, going to the body, going to the top. Uh, Anderson's pretty stat. Oh, someone's bleeding. Where's all that blood coming from? Yeah, but I think Renee's cut to the face. Wow. I mean, despite it looking quite violent, there is technique to this. Uh, it looks like it's a massive scramble, but it, there is technique to the, this. Uh, this is where the jiu-jitsu happens. This is the guard position for the uninitiated. This is, you know, you're kind of getting your opponent close to you and trying to shut down, control their arms, control those strikes. No, he doesn't want to take many more of those hammer fists. No, no. I mean, I think that Anderson should actually have studied this a bit more, should have got those heels on um, Renee's hips and then try to stand it up a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, maybe they're just like cuddling. They're our friends, right? Sweaty, bloody cuddling. Yeah. Uh, so he's kind of wrapping him up and neutralizing him now. And it's, I think that Anderson needs to attack more because yeah. Renee looks quite powerful to me. Oh, is that an illegal blow to the back of the head there? Quite possibly. Yeah. But you're right. I think Anderson needs to open his guard and, and, and work for a sweep more. That's right. Um, but now he's just wrapping up, but maybe Anderson's just stalling and hoping to, to uh, because it actually, for a 
getting that sit up Kimura sweep from this position is quite difficult, especially with a strong opponent like uh, Rene. So maybe Anderson's just biding his time, waiting for the referee to stand it up. Because uh, that although it's gets a bit boring. Here we go. He's going for the sweep, the sit up sweep. Uh, but there's nothing there. It's nice the way that the floor matches. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's almost got it. Okay. Nearly had it. Renee's given away his neck there. A couple of those to the midsection. Maybe a few heel strikes to the abdomen. The rib cage would have been good. Yeah, really old Gracie school. Style. Mm. Yeah, really old school. Oh, now he could be trying to get that arm across. Set up the head arm choke. There there's an arm triangle here. It's probably not the most exciting for the audience at this point, but... Well, looks like the referee and the crowd have had enough. Why have they come? You stood it up. All right. Okay. Let's have a look at their faces. Both gentlemen are marked up now. Oh. Anderson's got to time that leg kick a little bit better or he's yeah. going to get taken down again. He is, that's right. He's coming in, but... Oh, looks like applying. he's hurt him. Anderson's on the ropes. Anderson's copying a barrage. He looks like he's a bit dizzy. No, he's coming back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Solid Chilean over Chilean and right. She's trying to smash down a wall of bricks there with her hand. But Anderson's still there. I think it's about this point in the fight you can tell the crowd are starting to get behind them. Yeah. This is a... This is a well, Anderson's looking very groggy here. I thought he was more composed. A um, lot of energy's been exerted. This is only round one. And, I mean, it is quite a violent fight when you think about it. Oh. Anderson's still going for that lead chick, you know, trip, kick, I should say. Renee's coming back with a barrage. It's like Nick Diaz. Got to get himself off that fence. And that's round one. Well, solid round one in the books. It was. No beauty contest for Anderson for a while, that's for sure. Both looked as if they're starting to feel it towards the end there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this... Uh, one of the ring girls holding onto the... Oh, no, sorry, that's his corner. Anderson's corner. The guy chewing. Um, so his corner, I can hear him getting a feed here, saying to you, you're in front, you're winning this fight, you're looking good. Look look how busted up Grenade is. Yeah, mouse under that eye. Looks yeah. like his nose is uh, yeah. I mean, both bleeding. Them, both of them are <laughs> taking damage in this fight. Uh, you know, it might have to do go back to... Grenade uh, seems to be recovering quite well, though. Yeah, he's pretty sucking in the... Uh, and the other thing to uh, remember is that Camera is 1,800 feet above sea level. Yeah. And both these guys, Castle Hill, Bondi, you're looking at about zero, what, wait, 200 feet. So there's actually a bit of an altitude difference here. You think they'll have an impact as the fight goes on? I think so, but if they've done their cardio um, down at Bondi Beach, walking up and down the promenade, like holding a latte is actually very difficult. Yeah. It's taxing on your yeah. arms. Renee's ready for more action here. He's looking ready. Anderson's looking a bit wobbly, but... Oh, he's got a bit of pep in his yeah, step. He's yeah. still moving. Here we go again. Yeah. All right. Well, both of them seem to have recovered. They've got the gas back. Anderson keeping his hands high. Yeah, yeah that's right. Keeping it, watching out for those big overhand right blocks. Good movement from Renee. That's right. Good head movement, yeah. He's being chased now. Anderson's coming forward. No. What's he replying? That's the... He's got some really nasty... Whoa, Whoa what a beautiful foot beautiful sweep. Beautiful foot sweep. Catches him there. Straight up against the cage. And they're very painful, those... And, and Ooh, good body a, shots. Yeah, Renee's body feeling it now. Body. Here comes Anderson. He's coming back. Anderson just bitch slapped him. <laughs> it's the ball oh. clues. Oh. Having some success with those leg kicks. Anderson's just weathered the storm. Renee's gassed a bit. He's gassed, but he smells blood. Yeah, see, Anderson's coming forward. Backing forward. off, setting off. Anderson, Anderson looked, with a smile on his face. Yeah, and look, looking quite macho with that blood streaming down the left of the face. You know, it's Anderson amazing. has quite a narrow stance. So I don't think that's doing him many favours as Renee attacks. Yeah, and he's not. He's sort of hands are low. Renee's covering up. They're certainly exchanging it, but it does look on paper that uh, there's more Renee, damage. Oh, goes again for that yeah. that low leg kick slash sweep. And he's not a traditional um, kickboxer. Renee. I think a strong soccer background is going to stand him in good stead. Getting those hips. Anyone with a soccer base is going to, or football, don't want to offend anyone, but uh, anyone with that base is going to have a good kick. But he's feeling it. He's backing off now, yeah. letting, letting Anderson control the ring. Well, he's realised Anderson is unkillable. Oh, a bit of Lord of the Dance there, Michael Flatley. <laughs> oh. oh, right, almost got him in the money box again. But Anderson's putting on the pressure despite looking like he's been in a car, a car accident. 
is he's pushing forward. Cop a few of those. Now it's not much power be behind those shots. So. Yeah, I think he's just trying to keep him busy. Oh, drags him to the ground, into mount. Oh, finally some jujitsu. Let's see what's he going to do from here now. This is a bad position for Rene. Full mount, and Anderson's biding his time, getting the position first. What do you think he'll work from here? I think he's just going to get it. He's going to establish that position and not rush it and try and drop bombs. But I think he's pretty tired. Pretty gassed. See? Yep. And he's trying to explode. Peppering with shots. Just trying to open him up a bit till a big one comes through. Have a couple of those. Have one of those. Yep. Yeah, there's That's only for one you. or two getting through, though. That's it. Oh. Renee's not liking that, though. You can see it looks like a birth and reverse here. Now, can he take the back? Can he stay? Yeah. Renee's controlling that wrist and trying to shut down Anderson. He's got half guard back, which is great for him. It's a better position. Watch out, Anderson might be heading up. It's a bit slippery, so it's hard to set up those head arm chokes, but a bit of a love card look. A few more shots to the fake, to the skull. Here we go, mounting a good round for Anderson so far. Yeah, back and mount. Now they're a bit pitter patter. It's like the local RSL when they bring that um, boxing machine, what do you call it? The, the bucking bronco. The bucking bronco, here we go. Right, it's powered out of it. Anderson needs to get that right hook in. Yeah, I think he's, he's that's where it, this could come apart. If he doesn't get that hook in, he's, he's going to turn in. He's got the wrist control, but you need more than that. And he's and because it, it's quite slippery, it's going to be hard to contract Renee, but both of them look. Blowing hard. They're, <laughs> they're kind of gassed. But, you know, for this age, I think it's a, a pretty good effort. Yep, remarkable. Oh, and he's turned in. Okay, but now we're back to uh, Renee's. Then, uh, that's just toughness. You can't buy that. You can't teach that. You're just born with it. Hard to see from this angle. Exactly good shot of the fence. Good shot of the ref. Here we go. The problem with being with your head against the fence here, it's harder to get set stuff up and you, know, you kind of can find in what you can do. So, I mean, Anderson's probably should have tried to wall walk here. We're going to get back to some boring old uh, stuff. Close in the guard corner. style, mate. Yeah, close guard. But he's just trying to neutralise the... Well, he's uh, keeping him down, breaking his posture. There's nothing really coming from Renee, Renee here. If Anderson can hold him down for a little bit longer, they might even get a stand-up. Oh, hammer nope. fist. Forearm in the face. Yeah, cop that. Okay, he's trying to grab that head, and he's going to try... Anderson's doing the uh, shoulder blade punch. I haven't seen that one before, but obviously you can patent that. <laughs> oh. And you can see that, you know, if you are attacked on the straight, this is pretty oh, boring. There we go. Round two? Yeah, but that's what you want to do. Wrap good stand up. up. Yeah. That was a pretty good round for um, Anderson. I think round one to Renee. Round... No, we're not done yet. Yeah. Oh, neither are done yet. It's I think Renee wants to finish strong. Good leg kick. Yeah, good leg kick. So Anderson using that jab a bit better now. Oh, Oof, those leg kicks are going to start hurting. You can't take many more of those. Oh, a bit of a high five. At the end. Mutual respect. <laughs> there you go. Bit of gay 80s dancing. <laughs> a bit of Bronski beat in the background in real way. Tell me why I'm doing this. Well, you, you know, he's, what, he's born in 1966, so he would yeah. remember... Uh, Bronski beat would have been right up his alley. Yeah, it's funny how quickly you bought out the Bronski beat, because I can't remember that band, um, I love personally. Loved them, loved them. Or Bros. Bros. Or Pete, Pete Murphy. No, no, no. Mm. What now, Pete Murphy? Oh, Ring Girl is beautiful. Who's the guy hanging <laughs> off the cage there? I mean, he's gone into a psychogenic feud. Look at the guy on the right. He, yeah, they framed him out because it's just too disturbing for the yeah, off-putting what he was doing with yeah. his tongue. I mean, you're gonna lose <clears throat> uh, subscribers. Really. No, I think Renee is contemplating whether this was all a good idea or not. Now, yeah. you can see in his eyes, he's thinking, "Why did I agree to do this?" <laughs> he's unkillable, though. Yes, yeah, the hot chili. Chilean, the Rock. Here we go. Quick wipe of the mat. Get that blood off and off we go. Yeah. Round three. Big blow. Come on, boys. Last round. Let's, Will we get through this? Let's do it. And he looks a bit more uh, static now. It does. Not moving quite so well. I think that um, there's damage on both, but certainly Anderson has caught more. Oh, Anderson's moving now. He's anticipating that kick. So yeah. he's lifting <laughs> yeah, he's, the leg. He's all over it now. He's seen he's on my palm. He's... <laughs> He's you can, of you can actually see the bruising on his left leg now. You can see the swelling on it. Yeah. Um, oh, he's oh. bringing it to him. He's a bit like... Oy, nearly a very nicely timed knee there. Oh. Whoa, knocked, knocked down, down almost. Lucky saved by the fence. Renee's lying out there. Just devastating kick. 
Anderson's there. A few uppercuts, a bit of uh, Don Fry. Any Don Fry fight, that's where he probably got it from. But neither of these men have backed down. Neither of them shied away from the action. I think that both of them are suffering from the the gassing altitude. It's a pretty demanding thing to do to fight for 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, and it's been all action. Yeah. Crowd has certainly oh. appreciated it now. Anderson's using that. Oh, nice jab, you see there? Yeah, he's using that jab to create distance. Looking a bit tired on his feet now, though. Yeah. Hands have fallen. Testing that jab, testing range. Oh. He's trying to set up that kick. But, I, you know, I think Kakao has stolen his strategy from him and, and gotten in first with the kicks. Yeah, when he gets them, those leg kicks are working well. Boom, marching forward like a robot, like a rock'em, sock'em robot. You know, like in Terminator 2. You just can't reason with it. Yeah, Linda Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, Renee's stealing his ideas and firing back. Yeah, Renee's, Renee's kicking technique might not be as... Yeah. Boom. It's pretty, but it's certainly effective. And look at the way the Anderson's head's just snapping back like... Like a, a, a Viz dispenser every time he gets caught with that. Uh, no, Pez dispenser. Pez dispenser. What's a Viz dispenser? Oh, I've got cramp. Oh. Um, You've got I, a cramp? I would like to see Anderson in his next fight. What progress he makes in his stand up. Yeah, yeah. I think you'd like to see more jujitsu. Renee's coming back. He loves that kick. They've both got the he same does, strategy. But he's not setting it up now. Yeah. Oh, there's a takedown straight into his guard. They both watch the same YouTube video. There we obviously. go. Hammer fist. Down, two. two. We can't. He comes like a just a plethora of strikes. And we're back to this uh, kind of neutral position. But the, the fighter on top is always going to look more dominant. Although if, with high-level jiu-jitsu players, you know, they're very dangerous and this can be advantageous to their position. But, um, oh, he's, look, he's shutting off the air supply. Sneaky oh. but clever covering that yeah. mouth and nose. A lot of great albums. Fingers in the supply. eyes. No one listening to this will know that means except for Lee Henderson yeah, Anderson's got to do something here he can't sit here again any more of those hammer fists and he's going to uh, he's yeah. going to take too much damage in this round and covering the face again he's covering the face who does that who, who does that technique covering the face is that like a Raya Faber or one of those guys no, no BJ Penn yeah. you know, disrupting the airflow uh, yeah, it's just unsettling isn't it it is but you can, oh, to cop that. Oh, see now. It's just like he's trying to open an egg. Now, this is the difference between kind of jiu-jitsu in the gi and, and jiu-jitsu in MMA. That's right. Oh, look at it. Rainer is just going crazy. How many answers try? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, I mean, obviously they're not fight finishing punches, 17, but 18, you don't want to be on the receiving end of too many of those. No. But look at Anthony. He's just unkillable. Um, although he does look like one of the extras out of The Walking Dead at the moment. <laughs> it the is. zombie extra. It certainly looks like he's taken some damage. Yeah. Um, which is going to be really hard for his modelling agent in the morning because I'll have to cancel a lot of bookings. I think he's got to be more active from the bottom now. This is the strategy of trying to just stay in close guard and break the posture is not... Well, that's right. And Dana White wouldn't approve of this, would he? He'd be just no. like, well, no, I'm sorry. You're out of the UFC. Uh, but we're on brace. And they're loving it. And it's a great event. Oh, is that? No, that's stand-up time. Are we going to stand up again? Okay. Which is interesting because there was a lot more action there from Renee than in the other yeah. stand-ups. Look at Renee's face now. Now we're seeing a bit of damage. Whose blood is that his? There we go. Or Anderson's? The final flurry. I think yeah. both fighters realise that. This, this, yeah, this is the, where the fight begins to see who wants it. This fight can be won in this final minute. Oh, Anderson's going to the back. He's coming with a flurry now. He's got a dominant position. Let's see what he can do from here. He's uh, punching his uh, backside. The large muscle there probably won't help. He's got a little bit of a um, koala bear position. And that's the fight. 15 minutes of... Uh, a lot of respect shown now. Yeah. Technique and bloodthirsty action. Well, I think, you know... Respect done from the crowd, from the officials. Anderson just looks like he has been. Look at, he's been. <laughs> he's loving, it, enjoying the moment. He's, got, he's had some sort of mental breakdown, and he thinks, "Oh, oh my God, God, he's doing mine." What? Something's happened. He's definitely got some kind of um, uh, brain a damage. mental damage right there. 
<laughs> and um, there we go. Breathe them in and enjoying, there you go. enjoying the moment. They were friends before, enemies in the fight. Now they're brothers after the fight. I mean that. <laughs> I, I, it's kind of hard when you see a fight like that to actually tell people well, there's a lot of technique involved in terms of jiu-jitsu and striking but there was uh, because if one of them didn't have either of those skills it wouldn't have gone very long I don't no, think no that's not it'll be interesting to see how the judges see it I think Anderson's got better shorts than Renee though he wins on the shorts and so uh, we're just waiting for the judges decision but I think the crowd were entertained. Here we go, call it. What would you say, Blaze? Who do you think's got that one? Well, I just think that Renee's, uh, you know, I think I actually think it's pretty close. Mm. But I think we have they see, see that third round. Yeah. Uh, and uh, congratulations, Renee wins the fight. I don't know. I would like to see a rematch with more jiu-jitsu, though. Maybe <laughs> maybe a, a slap jiu-jitsu <laughs> competition. There you go. That's, That's what, what fighting should be, right? 